Hello everyone. Today I would like to tell you about integrity. Before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Desi Laura Basumiri. I majored in English at Adventist University. I don't forget thank God because he still blessed me until now. I also thank Mem Deborah as a lecturer in the English faculty. And I thank for my friends too for their suffering for me. In the first place, we must know what integrity is. Integrity is a concept of consistency in actions, principles, methods, and expectations. So people with integrity mean having an honest personality and a strong character. You know, the sign of people with integrity is people who are responsible for their action, prioritize others, tolerate, uh, able to respect and fear. There, there are ways to develop our integrity, such as associating with people who bring us positively. Other than that, be honest. For example, in conveying information, we must to convey it properly. Another example, when we make promises, we have to keep it. Next, I have integrity in my life. So, let me know you my experience about integrity. My friends and I decided to go dairy factory. We went there to buy milk for biological practice. And we promised to one time and I did. Okay. When we talk about keeping promise, um, according to some people, this is a small thing, but children will learn from small things, right? Okay. We only answer it with all our hearts. On the other hand, there are persons who lack integrity. For example, in this world of work, if someone manage money, they will be tempted to corrupt. If this happen, it cause problem, right? Thus, integrity is needed in person, such as a company leader has integrity in making decisions or plans, it will definitely be approved by employees. Why? Because the integrity can reassure the employees. As the conclusion, integrity is an important for us. Integrity is a quality must to do in our life, especially in the world of work. Okay, guys, it's all about integrity. Thanks for your attention and God bless you.